Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers. And as some of you know, I like Skyrim. But I often complain about how the really high level weapons in Skyrim, I just don't like the look of them. Um, but some of the lower end weapons, like the, the steel axes particularly, I think are beautifully designed in Skyrim. And uh, so I've actually used that, uh, that style as inspiration for this etching pattern in this custom ascend. So the etching pattern, pattern that I designed is very similar, not exactly like, but very similar to the, uh, the etching pattern in the, the steel, Nord steel uh, weapons that you'll see in Skyrim. Just quickly gonna show you a close up of some of the, the etching work on this saber. So you can see the, uh, the etching pattern is actually designed to go around the, the screws and the elements of the saber. So I wanted it to follow the contour and the lines of the saber. Really happy with how that turned out. Wanted to give it a, a weathered and worn look, um, just matching the, uh, the the weapons of Nord Steel weapons in Skyrim. This is a unique powder coating color. It's actually a two layers of primer and a, a brown that I use. So this is my Nord Steel Ascend, which will be going out for sale very soon. Um, and this video is going to serve as the instructions for the new owner, as well as showing off the features of the Sabre and how it operates. It's got a Crystal Focus version 7.5, so you've got all of the functionality of the Crystal Focus version 7.5, the spin sounds, the stab sounds, 12 different sound fonts. Um, this Sabre, I don't know if you'll be able to see it looking in there, utilizes a, a Quad Cree LED, and this is a green, green, blue, red, quad Cree. So uh, the greens are doubled up. So this is a uh, essentially a red, green, blue saber, an RGB saber, a color changing saber, but it's green strong. I've done a couple other quad Cree sabers. I wasn't sure if the quad Cree was gonna be able to be machined down small enough to fit in the Ascend uh, optics, but uh, but it, it, it does and it works really well. So this is a green strong color changing saber. Um, I'll show you how that works. But first I'm gonna put a blade in. Blade goes in, blade retention screw to keep it from flying out while you're swinging the saber around. Tighten it up. Pull out your kill key, which covers the 2.1 millimeter recharge port. Now, you'll notice with the etching patterns that I've actually uh, etched around the different features of the saber, the, the, the uh, projection lens cover, the, uh, the recharge port, the cover tech button. So you pull out your kill key and you get a boot up sound. So now the saber is active and ready to be used. So your activation button, it gives you a bright green blade. You have a blue button, you can tap it, you get blaster blocks, and you can see the flash on clash. Same thing if you were to strike the saber, um, hold it down, you get the lock up. So uh, the color changing and the, the flash on clash is all uh, customizable, and I'll show you how to set that later. Uh, but if you want to change the color, you hold down the auxiliary button and you tap the activation button. Switches through 10 color presets. Two different purples. You just keep going all the way around the 10. Yellow. You got two different shades of green. That's probably the nice basic straight green. Uh, with this saber, I've also machined a couple of uh, um, slots in the emitter so that there's uh, an indirect light flow. So the light bleeds out into the emitter, uh, not around the blade, but actually just in these grooves. So I wanted a really cool effect that set this, this saber apart, as you'll tell that the shroud doesn't go all the way around, so it allows for that. Um, so everywhere you look, there's just something new and interesting that I've done with this saber. Um, it's got the projection lens bar graph, so you'll see that the, uh, the eight LEDs inside the saber project onto whatever surface you're shining that, that little lens on. When you hold down the auxiliary button, you get the lockup, which also gives you the battery level tells me that this saber is down to two bars, so it's actually very low. I need to charge this one up. If you wanted to change to another sound font, you just hold down the auxiliary button. Sound bank selection. And you get into the, you get into the menu. Now it's in my fate sound font. You just keep tag, toggling through until you get to a new sound font. Hold it down to select that sound font. Go. I want to point out too that when you're in a sound font, this one's my rogue sound font, um, you, when you change to a different color, so let's say you wanted uh, 
blue. Really nice blue. And then when I turn off the Sabre in the Rogue Sound Font with this color selected, and I go through the sound fonts, it'll remember when I come back to Rogue that particular color that I selected. It'll remember that and store it, which is a really cool feature of the Crystal Focus version 7. So that is how you operate this Sabre. It is certified for hard dueling, just the same as all of my Ascends. It's ready to go, and all the electronics are installed securely so that it's not going to break if you're dueling with it. Um, but uh, to change, to make any changes on the inside of the Sabre, you can unscrew the pommel. Of course, this is the recharge port where you plug in the charger for the battery, so there's no removable, ba removable batteries on this Sabre. But you can see the 2 watt base speaker there. It just slides right out, and you've got a rice port, um, and you've got access to your SD card in there. So I'm going to put in a kill key. If you wanted to make changes to the sound fonts on, on your computer, or on your uh, your crystal focus, what you would do is you just get a magic implement, which is the pencil. You put uh, With the kill key in, you put pressure on the SD card. You hear it click. Now I can reach in with even those pliers. I can pull that out. I can make changes to that in my computer. Pop it back in. Pull the kill key to make sure that it's seated properly. You get the boot up sound. Everything's ready to go. If uh, I wanted to make changes to the uh, the color program or or any of those things, uh, the, the, the sensitivity of the saber, or anything like that, with the the rice, which is the real time internal configuration editor, uh, then I would just take the supplied rice cable, plug it in here, plug it into my computer, assuming that I've downloaded all the proper drivers and whatnot the white rice window, uh, pull that up and then I'd be able to, to make real-time changes on my computer that would affect the color and the features of this Sabre and its operation. And if you want to see a video showing uh, and outlining some of those features and some of those things you can change, just click here and I'll link to a video that I did a little while ago showing some of the ways you can change your Sabre by plugging into your computer and altering it in real time. I want to make sure my wires are nice and folded and ready to go and that that speaker holder goes in where it's supposed to. I screw the pommel in and this saber is back together and ready to go. So it's a really cool saber, really happy with how it turned out and I uh, hope that the new owner is going to be as thrilled with it as I am. Thanks again for watching.